What's happening, everybody? Time for another Total Chaos. We're going through a college basketball Saturday. It's like that. Tons of games on that card. We're going to go through six. Uh, these are top 25 team games that we are looking at here. And I've got these two expert handicappers to let here to let me know if they are going over or under the total. Before we get started, I want to remind everyone first to like and subscribe, share, ring that bell for notifications, all that good stuff so we can keep putting out free content and free picks to you. And also don't forget, we're now sponsored by BetMGM. When you check out the description of this video, you'll find a link. Click on that link and get signed up. They're going to match your first deposit up to six dollars uh, for your first deposit. So don't miss out on that value. First up, We've got Sean Higgs. Sean, you're eight and ten for the month of February, but you did yeah. beat Nick Earl on your last time out. How are you doing, friend? All right, eight. Man, that's pretty good because I was five hundred coming in, so I actually had a losing week in one. I guess I guess we'll take it. It's not good for the bet, you know. It's nice ego boost, but we got to do better. And um, I don't know. I got a couple here I like. Hopefully, you have a uh, a winner. But I got I got some stiff competition here against Nick and this guy. Yes, you do. So for the month of January, Higgs, you were 17, 12, and 2. So you still got plenty of time to beat your old record. No big deal. Um, Nick Parsons, you are the king of the pushes right now. You've got your February record is 5 and 1, but Dre Richardson went 5 and 1 also. So you guys three in a row wow. have tied each other. Holy. How are you well, feeling, Nick? Not bad. Where's Dre? We got to get him back here again sometime too, or I'll have to go up against him. But yeah, I feel the same way as Sean. Definitely. I know that he's been hot overall in uh, 2022. So yeah, I definitely got to bring my A game here. You were 11, 8, and 1 in January. So both of okay. you have winning records um, for the month of January. So let's boost those numbers up for February. All right. We're going to start this party off with Number 23, Murray State is taking on Moorhead. The total's 132. Higgs, what do you got? I'm going to roll out the over here. Uh, you know, they went over. They just got over this last time they played in January. But for me, this is more of what we saw at Moorhead last game, a 48-47 loser. You know, you put up 47 points in a game you should have won. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm a firm when, when I look at games like this and totals. Teams off bad games, I'm – it's an auto play. I got to think they're going to bounce back, especially at home. So I'm going to go over and especially, I think this is a revenge spot for Murray's. This is a ranked team, Murray State, folks. These guys are pretty good. I think they're what, 22 or whatever record they are. Um, so it's obviously a get up game for Moorhead. They'll be excited. And again, all 47 points. Uh, give me the over. Yeah, that uh, line on the side is already taken down. It was Moorhead plus three. Now it's two and a half. So it's going that Moorhead way. Nick Parsons, what do you think about the total on this one, over or under? Yeah, these are two really good teams. Murray State, uh, as Sean was saying, it's actually 23 and 2. Moorhead State, it's 19 and 7, and that includes going 12 and 0 at home. Uh, Murray State, it averages 80.9 points per game. Now, it's also seen the total go over in four straight. And so, yeah, I'm I'm expecting a wide open game here too, for sure. I I, I like the over in this one as well. Going over. over. Over we go. I like, yeah, I mean, they're it's the Murray State Racers. You know, they're going to play. They're going to put points up. They go fast. Um, okay, so up next, we have number 18 Marquette at Butler. It's 131 and a half, Nick. What do you think about this one? Yeah, Marquette, it's 16 and 8 overall. Just 4 and 4 on the road, though. Butler, it's 11 and 13 overall, but it's 8 and 5 at home. Uh, the Golden Eagles, they've seen the total go over in two straight. They're coming off an 80 to 72 loss to Connecticut. They only average 74 points per game. And Butler, it comes in with zero momentum. It has three straight losses. It was a 54 to 52 uh, setback to Creighton last time out. It only averages 62.4 points per game. Uh, their last matchup, Marquette 173 to 57. That one went under. I think this one's going to go under too. I'm going under. All right. Under we go. Higgy, what do you think? Yeah, this is a tough one. I'm like, ah, you know what? I want to think of it the over here, but Butler's just a bad team. And I, a bad team, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with Nicky. I got to just go under. Nothing flashy. I can throw out my number. My number on this is like 131, so it's not even a huge differential. But uh, Marquette plays tough. They play defense. We've seen upset teams. We've seen them kind of play down a team. So 
again, a, a 60 to 50 game won't shock me here. Uh, again, my number is right around 130. I'm saying under. Yeah, I mean, plus we've got Marquette coming off that loss to UConn, which is kind of a big deal. You know, it was a letdown spot because they had just beat Villanova, yep. and then they kind of let it go uh, as six-point dogs to UConn. But this is a get-right spot for sure. You're a ranked team. You need to smash Butler. Part of how to do that is uh, through your defense. So I'm with you on this. We got number seven, Duke Blue Devils. I can't do dances because last time I did a dance for the Houston Cougars and they lost outright, so I'm not. I'm going to hold – my dance in right now uh -huh. um, boston college <laughs> well, i know you see me i'm like literally <laughs> trying to hold it in uh 137 and a half pigs what do you say yeah, yeah. smu and the over was a nice play i had the other night uh, oh, yeah. okay you know i'm going I under did, i cashed houston first half minus four that was the only bet i made on the game was houston first half minus four but holy smokes smoo southern methodist okay go ahead sorry Higgs. I'm I'm going mm -hmm. under this total. And Duke, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they score in bunches, right? Are we going to be shocked if they drop an 85 yeah. here? Not at all. But what am I getting out of BC? I, I'm not expecting much. I think this is going to probably like a 75-55 a kind of game. I think Duke's going to come in here. Even if it's not a big blowout, they'll do enough to win. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know what the spread is on this one. But I, I don't see them rolling it up into the uh, – 80, 90 range here to really get up into the 140. So my number at this is a 137 and a half. And we're at 137 and a half here as we speak. I'm going to go under. Have you thought of becoming an odds maker, Higgs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. I got to look up. I'm like, no right. Number, right. I, try, I try not to really look at the lines until we do, as we're doing a show, because right. I want to see where my number is and, Go from there. I don't want to be like, oh, it's that. And then, then I'm double guessing, thinking, well, why is it here? So that's why I'm looking like, oh, wait, it's the same number. <laughs> <laughs> well, you nailed it, friend. Uh, Nick Parsons, what are you thinking about this one? Oh, the, not, the spread is 14. It's Duke minus 14, just so uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. What do you got, Parsons? <clears throat> well, so far we've agreed on everyone. I agree on this one as well. Uh, Duke has seen the total go over in three straight. It averages 80.3 points per game. But Boston College has seen it go under in three of its last four. It only averages 65.1 points per game. I mean, two polar opposites here, obviously, as far as their offensive numbers are concerned. But just as Higgs was breaking down, I, I absolutely think the same thing. Duke doesn't need to run up this score to win this game. It's just going to control the tempo in the second half. And so, I, yeah, I envision the same sort of score as he was just saying there. Let's go under. Under we go. And, the, you know, the other thing is Duke is going to play Wake Forest next, and Wake is a, has been a really solid team. They're, I believe they're number one in the ACC right now. Actually, I have that right here. Boop. Nope. They're number – They're it's Duke, Notre Dame, and then Wake is a half a game back. But when they won a few days ago, that put them at one, and then Duke just won again. So now they're at one. But anyway – Wake's going to come for Duke. That's Duke's next game. So they're right. not going to try to exert all their energy beating up on this little mincy team. Yeah, um, number four, Arizona is at Washington, and the number's 150, Nick Parsons. Yeah, Arizona, it's 21 and 2, 6 and 2 on the road. Uh, Washington, it's 13 and 9 overall, but it's 8 and 4 at home. Uh, the Wildcats, they've seen the total go under in eight of their last 10 and that includes a 72 to 60 win over washington state in their most recent game i mean it does average 84.6 points per game that's third in the country uh washington it's seen the total go over in four straight uh not and not surprisingly the huskies have won four straight uh they average 70.9 points per game i think that the huskies can keep the offensive momentum rolling here i, I i'm expecting a wide open game i'm going with the over in this one over we go. Yeah, that Washington team really turned it around from last season. They were abysmal last year, um, and they've really kind of pulled it together. Higgs, what's your look on this one, over or under the 150? Yeah, I'm on the over also, and I got this up in like the 153 kind of range. I mean, they scored 170 when they played a month ago, and yeah, Arizona's hit some unders, but um, that's because you're, you're at home, you get more of a defensive game at home, you're playing team. I feel. You know, you're at home, you got the Everything's kind of working in your favor. Teams maybe in a back-to-back -back road situation. So that kind of plays to them hitting more unders. Because, again, these guys scored nine. you know, they score 80-something points a game. They can put it up. And Washington's been scoring. Again, I got this over to you – know, I mean, I'm looking at like 155-ish, you know, 160 range. So, yeah, give me the uh, over to 150. 
All right, number 16, Ohio State at Michigan. 141 is the number, Higgs. I'm going over this. I'm going over. I uh, And, again, I got this actually a little – actually – a little lower, but I I think what I saw out of Michigan the other night, and I like Purdue. I grabbed the low-hanging fruit. I'm like, this team's been rolling along, Boilermakers, putting it up. And it's weird because I grabbed, like, a lot of dogs, and I'm like, you know what? I just can't bet on a Michigan team that just looked pathetic, losing. You know, who'd they be? Penn State, Nebraska. Like, not not good teams out of you – know, I knew the time they stepped up, whether it be Arizona out of conference, UCF, they were losing. Uh, but that's – a good win like that, I think, will catapult them a little bit, get the offensive going a little bit. So I'm going to go over the uh, total here. And Ohio State, we've seen them kind of lay eggs on the road, right? They lost to Rutgers. So uh, yeah. there, there are no great shakes to, to exploit themselves. But, again, in the back of their heads, they're like, you know what? We got to do better. Again, I think in more points when it comes to things like that, give me the over 141. Yeah, it's weird because you've got kind of Ohio State, in, like, coming off of that – like they're in a get right spot because they lost to Rutgers and Michigan's in a let down spot because they just beat the crap out of Purdue. I couldn't bet on Purdue. It looks so easy. I thought that number should be like a seven and it just looked way too fishy. Texas A&M did that. Ohio state did that this week. There were a couple of them that like, it was just too easy. Nick Parsons over or under the 141. Well, once again, we agree here. I'm I'm going over. Uh, just their seasonal averages, Ohio State averages 75.1. The Wolverines average 72.8. Now, Ohio State, it's just three and five on the road. Michigan, it's eight and two at home. But yeah, this is going to be an intense battle uh, for all the reasons you guys just laid out there and for different reasons for each team. But yeah, I expect a wide open game and this one to go over. All right, we agree again. Vanderbilt's at number 19, <laughs> Tennessee. It's 132, Nick Parsons. What do you think? Yeah, Van D, 13 and 10 overall, only four and four on the road. Tennessee is 17 and six overall, but it's a perfect 12 and 0 at home. Uh, Van D's seen the total go over in four straight, but it does only average 69 points per game. That ranks 239th in the country. Tennessee, it's off a 72 to 63 win over Mississippi t- uh, State. It only averages 74.4 points per game. Uh, now the Vols did manage a 68 to 60 win at Vandy in mid-January. That one went under, and this is sort of the same sort of score I'm expecting here, a, a lower scoring defensive battle. I'm going under in this one. All right, Higgy, what do you think about it? You know, this one, I have this right at the 132 number, and we mentioned 68, 60, and four and four road, but you know, three straight road losses too for, for Vandy. I'm, I'm actually going to go over here. It's a toss-up kind of game for me, and you know what? We've been t- every we've agreed everywhere else. So you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll think over here just based on the way Vandy's been playing. Not good basketball on the road. Uh, maybe I mean, listen, Tennessee's a tough team. I, I faded them the other day in, in, in Mississippi. I Mississippi both Mississippi and Mississippi State let me down. The whole state just was out to get me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go over here. I think we see, you know, I, if we get one, I think Tennessee's going to get into the 70. So I think that'll catapult us over the number. Give me the uh, over to 132 here. All right. And that's a wrap. Now, remember, Picks and Parlay's view crew, when these two agree, those are the money makers on the show. We got five of them. We got five consensus picks for you. We're going to do a little bit of a recap, but I want to remind everyone again like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and also check out the description of this video. Find the link to Bet MGM and get yourself signed up. Snatch that $560 deposit match uh, while you still can because it's a really good deal. Sean Higgs, what do you have lined up over at Picks and Parlays? I hear there's a pretty big game this weekend. Everyone seems to be talking about it. Have you heard about it? Yeah. Um, hold on a second. It's right here. I got it right in front of me. It is uh, Presbyterian Winthrop. Big game tomorrow. Yep. That's 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 the the one. One. Basketball game. Oh, no. Super Bowl that's Sunday. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Little big game action. Uh Listen, I like the uh, over there, and I got a short shot up on the side. It's been up for a month now. I don't know how long we've been waiting for this game. It used to be right after the championship game. Now they got us a two-week wait period. But, uh, yeah, I got a Super Bowl play up, and, of course, I'll have college basketball, maybe sprinkling some NHL and uh, NBA for you. But go get the three-day – listen, I always tell people, get a three-day pass, especially on a weekend, whether it be football season or whatever. Yeah. You're going to – any capper you get, me, Nick, Whoever the case may be, insider's room, and no, it's under insider's room. 
Yep. Like you're going to get on a, a, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you're going to get a plethora of college hoops, right? You're going to get a full slate of uh, hockey and, and, and basketball, NBA style. So always best three day, beautiful. This is a great weekend to get it too, between Super Bowl and college hoops and all the other sports because there'll be, there'll be games. There'll be games again. Oh, yes, there will. You, uh, Sean Higgs, you were number four. Uh, on the entire site yesterday on picksandparlays.net on the leaderboard. So excellent work there. You were three and one. You made $191 if you bet with Sean Higgs yesterday. So good job there. And don't forget to subscribe to Higgs' um, YouTube channel. I had, a big, I had a big Carolina Panther puck line plus 180 since it's over the top. Nice. So not, you don't don't look for nice. big minus. We're not, there'll be a lot of non minuses next to things I bet, folks. There'll be a lot of any. Hockey, baseball, there'll be a lot of pluses, puck lines, run line kind of stuff there. <laughs> That's how I like having the plus money, honey. That's probably why I like your picks so much. <laughs> we mesh well like that. Absolutely. Um, Nick Parsons over at the insiders room. How's everything rolling along for you? Are you excited about this big game? President mm -hmm. Winthrop, what do you think? Definitely excited about it, guys, because we've gone nine and zero over the first three rounds. We were five and zero in the wild card. We were three and zero in the divisional. We were one and zero in the conference, and so we've released one major play, and we're going to try to go ten and zero. So yeah, come check that out on the Insiders Room over at PicksAndParlays.net. I love it. Excellent, killer freaking record, man. Nine and zero. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Right? It's awesome. Can't wait. Great work. And then, guys, when you're over at picksandparlays.net, you can get Higgs package and Nick's package, smush them together. You can get them separately, however you want to roll, but use the promo code BOWL, B-O-W-L. It's going to save you 20% off of whatever is in your cart at Picks and Parlays. This is a great weekend to grab a package, okay? There are so many college basketball games on Saturday. You know we got the big game on Sunday. It's going down for real this weekend, so it really helps to have a professional in your back pocket and that'll make your back pocket grow fatter. And that's what we're all about here. If y'all are looking for me, I'm Allie Burns. You can find me at Plus Money Honey uh, over on the Twitter. And don't forget, subscribe to Sean Higgs' YouTube channel, Winning Free Picks. It's a sister station with Picks and Parlays. So y'all move over there and subscribe. Lots of great content coming out of you, Higgs. All right, so let's recap it. Murray and Moore had 132. They're both going over. Remember, these are the money makers when they agree. Marquette and Butler. I feel like people don't realize that Brad Stevens isn't their coach anymore, and he hasn't <laughs> been for years and years and years, and it's not the same Butler team. Okay, just I had to get that out. But they're taking it under the 131 and a half. Duke, baby, is at Boston College, 137 and a half. They're taking it under Arizona and Washington, the 150. Pow, pow, it's going over. Ohio State at Michigan, 141 is going over as well. The only one they disagree on, Vanderbilt at Tennessee, 132. Made a funny thing there. Uh, Nick is going under. Higgs is gonna over, gonna go over. That's gonna be our deciding factor for this round of total chaos. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for your great analysis as always, and may the best capper win. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Ellie.